Hey guys, it's Ami and more. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this Fall Guys Ami Gurumi project. You can make them in all different colors. And here are its features. They have a cute face with two oval eyes. And they have arms with four little fingers on it. And they have two cute feet. And they kind of look like jelly beans. Be sure to tag me with all your projects. I'd love to see. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Here are the materials you'll need. For the face with white yarn, you are going to make a slip knot for your crochet hook. And then we are going to grab the yarn with our pinky, make a gun, and hold the tail. We're going to chain two for our first round. One and two. And then we're going to do six single crochet stitch, insert hook, yarn over and come back out. Two loops, yarn over and come out through both loops. That's our first single crochet stitch. Here's our second and three and four five and our very last six single crochet stitch and then you're going to pull our tail closed and we're going to insert our stitch marker to mark the end of the round now we're going to ignore that stitch there in one, two, three, four, five, six. And in our first stitch, we're going to do two single crochet stitches. So in our very first stitch, we are going to do our first single crochet stitch. And into the same stitch, we are going to do our second crochet stitch. Now we're going to do two in each stitch around. So that's one and two and it's one and into the same stitch. Here's our second crochet stitch and that's one and two and one and two and in our very last stitch we're also going to do two so that is one and two now we should have 12 single crochet stitches all the way around and if we count it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now for round three, our pattern is two, one, two, one. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you should have 18 single crochet stitches. So we're going to do one single crochet stitch and into the same stitch, two single crochet stitches. In our next one, just one. So that's one. And our next one is going to be two again. That's one and two and then one okay repeat the pattern again that's one and two and then just one again okay continue to repeat the pattern all the way around it's one and two and one one and two and one and our very last set right here we're going to do one and two and just one in our very last stitch okay we're going to move our stitch marker again now we're going to get ready to do a color change with our new yarn we're going to do a slip knot for our crochet hook and then we're going to pick 
our face back up again and we're going to do a single crochet stitch but before we finish it off we are going to grab our new yarn and then we are going to pull it through the both loops to finish off the stitch and we just did a yarn change for round four I'm going to do the back loop only so before we went through both loops but that's the front loop and that's the back loop so we're just going through the back loop only so we're just going to go do slip stitch all the way around so go through the back loop and continue to do your slip stitch all the way around and then if we look we see a ridge forming right there where the front loops are and then we just continue in the back loops all the way around and when we get to our very um, last stitch into the next blue stitch we're going to do one into the back loop and then fasten off with a very super long tail and here is our face completed now for the body we are going to do um, a slip knot and chain two and for our very first round we're also going to do six single crochet stitch into our very first chain so that is one and two three four five and six and we're going to close our loop and then we're going to insert our stitch marker and now for round two we are going to do two in each stitch all the way around and at the end you should have 12 single crochet stitches so in our very first stitch we are going to do two single crochet stitch that's one and two okay continue with the same pattern it's going to be one and two and one and two and repeat the pattern all the way around now for round three our pattern is two one two one repeat the pattern all the way around you should have 18 single crochet stitches so in our very first stitch we're going to do one and two and then just one in our next stitch we're going to do two one that's one and two and one and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around now for round four our pattern is going to be two one one two one one repeat the pattern all the way around and you should have 24 single crochet stitches so that's one and two and one and one repeat the pattern again one and two and one and one continue to repeat the pattern all the way around now for round five to seventeen we're going to stay at 24 single crochet stitches so it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around Go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round 17. This is how your body should look like. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 rounds. For round 18, we're first going to do a decrease. So insert hook, come back out, insert hook into your next stitch and come back out. You have three loop, we are in over and come back through all three. And then you're just going to do a single crochet stitch and then another single crochet stitch repeat the pattern again a decrease 
and then in our next two we're just going to do one single crochet stitch that's one and two continue to repeat the pattern all the way around and at the end you should have 18 single crochet stitches now we can start stuffing with our polyfill or stuffing now for round 19 our pattern is a decrease single crochet stitch decrease single crochet stitch and repeat the pattern all the way around so here's our first decrease and then just a single crochet stitch repeat the pattern again decrease and then a single crochet stitch and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around at the end you should have 12 stitches now for round 20 we're just going to decrease all the way around and you should have six single crochet stitches at the very end so go ahead and work up your stitches you get to the end of the round we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail we're gonna finish stuffing and then we are going to go ahead and close the body um, so the body closed And here is our body completed. Now for the foot, we are going to chain two. That is one and two. And you're going to do six single crochet stitch into our very first chain. That's one and two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to close your loop. And put our stitch marker in and for our next round it's just two in it each stitch all the way around so in our very first stitch we are going to do one single crochet stitch and in our same stitch we're going to do two next stitch is two as well so that's one and two and repeat the pattern all the way around for round three, we're going to do one in each stitch around. We're going to stay at 12 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round four, we're going to do a decrease three times. So that's one decrease. Here's our second decrease. And our third decrease. And then we're just going to do six single crochet stitches. So that's one and two, three, four, five, and six into our very last stitch. Now for round five, we're going to do a decrease. So that's our first single crochet decrease. In our next seven, we're just going to do one and two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in our next three, we're just going to do slip stitch. So that's one and two and three slip stitches you're going to fasten off with a long tail and here is our foot completed and you'll want to make two now for the arm you are going to do chain two one and two and six single crochet stitch into our very first chain again and then we are going to, after our sixth one, we're going to close our loop and use our stitch marker. And now for rounds 
2 through 8, we're just going to stay at 6 single crochet stitches. So it's just 1 in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. And I'll meet you at the end of round 8. Here's how it should look like, your arm. Now we are going to chain 2. Then we're going to slip stitch into the previous chain. We're going to flatten our arm and we're going to do a slip stitch through both layers and come back out. That is our first finger completed. We're going to repeat the pattern three more times. So we're going to slip stitch back and we're going to go back to the arm and go through both layers and do another slip stitch. Okay, that's our second finger. We're going to chain two, do a slip stitch back, go back to the arm and do a slip stitch through both layers again and come back out. Okay, we have three fingers. Now our last finger right here. Going to do a slip stitch and then slip stitch back onto the arm again. We're going to fasten off with a long tail. And here is our cute little arm completed. It should have four fingers all together. Now we're ready to assemble our omigurumi. Here is our finished amigurumi! Hooray! Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye for now!